What is up, everybody? Welcome to the debut of Mario Kart Central, uh, Mario Kart Universal, Season 13. We got prime time at night for you. We're casting two wars tonight. Uh, first off, we got Arcadia Terra versus SV Team, followed by Version 2 versus Cartnita Asada. So we should have a really fun time tonight. Uh, we're, we obviously have two uh, Asian slash Oceanic teams playing, so they just happen to be playing at night. Which is great. We get two POVs uh, at 8 and 9 p.m. Worked out really well for us. However, we would like to make primetime at night more of a regular thing this season. So, if you are in an American team, that is a team in an American time zone, and you see that you're playing another team in American time zone, what you can do, you can ask that other team if you're interested in playing on Saturday night. And if both of you are cool with that, you can talk to your division admin, and we'll see if we can get you casted. We want to make this more of a casual experience than the Sunday prime time. So, hey, if you're interested, if everyone's available, just let us know. We might be able to cast you. With that being said, let's take a look at our lineups real quick. So, what do you have to say about these lineups, Josh? Yeah, good evening, Jacob. How are you? Pretty good. What's up yeah. with you? This is awesome. I'm excited to be here for some Saturday night action. Um, I know SV team is their actually their first match in MKU. Uh, they just they just got created very recently, um, and funny enough, their first matchup is on prime time, so they're just made for the spotlight, I suppose. Um, yeah, I do think that's pretty funny. The very first time this team is playing MKU, they're being casted, uh, <laughs> really yeah, rising to the top very quickly. Exactly. Here. Yeah. So we'll see if they can if they're ready for the big stage. Um, shout out to our Japanese players in this team uh, for playing it. It is 10 a.m. their time. Um, they had a lot of, a couple of last second substitutions, um, but I think lineup on the screen is correct for SV team. We have Suzuku, Skura, Koa, and Yukinko. Uh, Yukinko will be one of our streamers tonight uh, for SV team. Um, so interested to see his gameplay. Um, but the two big storylines definitely are going to be Enri and Harry. Um, Enri playing at 2 a.m. either in Italy or Spain. I can actually confirm what country he's from. Um, and then Harry USA, of course, playing from the United States. Uh, this, this is definitely like an interesting one to see how they can uh, communicate in Japanese and English, because the four Japanese players in the team, according to Harry, don't know much English, some very basic things. And Harry and Henry know absolutely none of Japanese. So definitely something to, to think about. Um, quick communication is going to be potentially an issue. We'll see how they, how they overcome that and how they, how they do this, this season and tonight. Yeah, SV is definitely an interesting team. Um, if you're unaware of who SV is, uh, this is a team that was formed pretty soon before the transfer deadline this season. Um, they've been a Japanese team for a while. They just joined the MKC registry to play Mario Kart Universal. So they don't have much experience and they don't have any tables logged either. So they were placed in this division, Division 6, mostly because of the strength of their roster. If you look at a lot of their players' ranks and lounge, they're hovering around that silver-gold range which falls in line with most other teams at this level. We all know how important those lounge ranks are. Hey, man. <laughs> well, that's the only information you got. You, you got to go with exactly. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, we'll see how they're able to do at this level of competition. Uh, again, Division 6. And, of course, on the other side, we haven't mentioned them too much. We have Arcadia Terra. Uh, they've been playing the game forever. Uh, Arcadia is one of the big names in competitive Mario Kart. This is their mm -hmm. secondary roster, their primary roster being in Division 1, obviously. And we have Papuko streaming for them. Yeah, so talking to, to, to Getty, actually, before this match, asking him kind of what their expectations are for this season, they said that they were a little disappointed with their 2020, a very up-and-down year for their second team, um, finishing in seventh place last season um, in Division 5, which is kind of why they're, they're down in D6 this season. Um, he says they hope, they hope to get, win it all this season. Um, and I would say they're definitely one of the favorites in the division, being one of the higher seeds. And one oh, of the more yeah. experienced teams for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking from personal experience, I think when we played Arcterra yeah, yeah. in Division Five last season, we only lost by like, or we won, we only won by like ten points. So mm -hmm. even though they had not a great record in that division, they were absolutely fighting for it. Just unfortunate to see them down here. They would have liked to be in D five, but hey, this is their time to prove themselves, right? Exactly. We're going yeah. to RWS for the first race. We'll see. Uh, looking at Papuko right now, we'll see what spot he's starting in. So SV with the, the initial top spots, it looks like 1-4 um, as we try to figure out who's who. We see a Metal Mario, presumably that's Getty, right? And this is interesting, right? Papuko's on Waluigi Scooty. All of last season, he was a Morton Scooty main, so... Interesting. 
I was also a Morton Scooty main last season and switched off of it, so it, it's kind of uh, disheartening to see that no one's using Morton anymore, but hey, Papuko's in an early first here, unfortunately getting bumped, so SV is going to take the top spot, should be Getty in second. Yeah, as a Scooty player, I know exactly how it feels to get bumped there, you're just trying to fight for your life, especially on these ramps, lap one. Yeah, super unfortunate. Uh, still in fifth, though, and able to get a draft, he should gain, oh, and unfortunately, uh, drifting the wrong way into that uh, fire pillar. Dropping down to last, he might want to go wide, pick up some coins here, maybe even beg if the team is feeling bad about their position. Can we see who that Roy was in first? Because it looks like the only Roy in the room. I'm trying to think of lineups right now. Oh, we, we just switch, as you see, we just yeah, switch. Yeah, I'm not sure. Here's uh, this path, and you can switch on the fly. Ooh, that random <laughs> green is brutal. It's going to take out two people. It looks like one from each team. One team yeah. So Yukinko is going to be stuck in eighth for the time being. Uh, seven, eight for SV. You can see Rady up there in six. And other than that, we still don't know who that Roy is. Could be from either team. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. I mean, four. As a kind of spread out for RWS, definitely. So, yeah, absolutely. A more stuff than you'd expect. Obviously, Papuko's still there in the back. Maybe he's going to try to pull a shock or something. He's pretty far back there right now. And you can't go able to take the cut right here. Papuko has only a bill right now, chaining his item right now. And he pulls a star. So, no shock in 12th. It looks like probably not in 11th either. He looks like 11th is too close to the pack. Yeah, Papuko opted to chain his bill there, which I think is a good idea. Um, it's not the I optimal did... spot to chain a bill on this track, but if you're far in the back, you need to either catch up or pull a shock. And yeah, holding a bill isn't going to help you do either of those things. SB holding the blue shell as well, so we assume that, that Roy was SV or somebody in first is SV right now. Absolutely. We'll keep that in mind for the future. The Roy yeah. should be SV. And oh, the Roy actually falling back. Yep. It is now a Waluigi in first, you would assume, <laughs> also from SV. There's no coming out, but not going to do much here as Papuko just... Try not to get last. You see a 10 11 though for, for SV. Might be able to pass them on the line, actually. Oh, and that's it's one gonna point. Be, yep. It's going to be 11th place for Papuko, and really, every spot matters. Yeah, so that's a solid race for Ark to start out, actually. 1 3 4. The Roy is SV. We can confirm now. <laughs> is there much struggle from that? <laughs> yeah, so Ark getting first that race. It, that must mean that whoever was running from SV got hit out at the line there without the blue. Yeah. Yeah, really affecting the race at all. One, really three, unfortunate four, for one, them. One, three, four. Maybe he took the cut last second, which is a very classic RWS thing to do. <laughs> Absolutely. And that is going to be a plus 14 race for Arc 2, so an early lead for them. And pretty interesting pick from Arc, actually. Um, Ice Ice for 134 yeah, is one, not three, something that I would usually pick myself. I don't know. How do you feel about that? I don't, I've, I've been working on Ice Ice actually a lot recently. It's actually kind of funny that they're picking it because you can definitely draft up, and I think that it's not a bad pick. I kind of like it. It's kind of ballsy. I like it. Yeah. I, as you mentioned, uh, I've always considered Ice Ice to be a drafter. I pick it for, you know, 2, 3, 4, maybe like... Maybe a Two, one, three, four, four five. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what Art can do here. And I wonder if that blue shell communication had something to do with the language barrier for SV on that last race. Something that I did mention at the very start. Yeah, you never know. Unfortunately, yeah. obviously both of our point of views were in the back of that race, so we couldn't yeah. see what was really going on on top there. Yeah. Starting but, out with Pupoku here for Art. Seeing we're going to see good very good quickly here. whether or not Art's track pick worked out for them. Yep. Goku going wide, not going for any type of draft. It's an interesting choice. It's definitely the safe play there, but obviously he's still in ninth right now, so he isn't able to break into the pack quite yet. Going for a lap one Nisk, always risky though. Getting it successfully, Ooh. kind of. <laughs> Risk paid off. He definitely yeah. gained some spots really from that. And he's going to get redded for it. So, unfortunately, uh, back to the back of the pack, and you see Yukinko in first, immediately getting hit out yeah. as we switch to him. Now, Ark taking over first now with that horn. It's going to be a 4-5, uh, 4-6 four, four, for SV. Does he have a bill? It looks like a bomb. Yeah, it looks a bomb. Oh, it's a, oh my god. Yeah. Thank god he doesn't have a bill in fourth on the <laughs> right. one. I would have been so mad. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked out for Ark, huh? Oh, yeah. So, it actually is SV up there. Uh, Stevens is up here as well, obviously. And Enery is around in sixth as well. I would assume it's still someone from Ark running in first right now. Yeah. So, gonna use the horn SV, here, I would presume. No. Gotta watch out for that plant. Okay. It's gonna be, looks like a 1 3 4 for Ark. SV is gonna need to make something happen here if they wanna get rid of these top spots. We see the Roy in last or 11th place, but I don't know if he's in shock range. I wouldn't consider that shock range, probably not. 
Yeah, it looks like no one is hard going for it at this point. I would yeah, definitely yeah. consider it if I was on SV. Yeah. It's pretty dominant from ARC yeah, at the moment. It looks like a top, top two, two or top yeah. three. Three, four, five for SV. Well, actually, when Stevens is right here, so. And triple I'm shrooms. He might be able to pass Radiant, but I'm yeah, definitely going to want to try to hit someone out. Yeah. So there won't be a shock. Probably can confirm that now. Yeah, and Ark was just kind of able to run this race unless that green hits, and it won't, so Ark is going to get top two here. Yeah, so Ice Ice looked to be the right pick there, huh? Sure did. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll have to start considering yeah, exactly. uh, picking that track for some different spots, because that, that worked perfectly for them. Mm -hmm. This is going to be Michael and Rady in the top two. SV getting most of the spots after that top two, though, so it's not going to actually be that great of a race for Ark here. Wait for the scores to come in. Yeah, see what that like actually plus was. six would be my guess there. Yeah, plus six for SV. Yeah. So even though Art got top two, SV did win that race. SV um, is plus six. Okay. So. That is an eight-point game at this point. I um, think that was their, their first ever winning race in MKU. So congratulations, SV. <laughs> there we go. You know, everything everything <laughs> SV does is going to be their first <laughs> ever in MKU. Their first so. ever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just keep saying that. Congratulations, SV. <laughs> you won your yeah. first race in MKU. And they're going to go TM more, for yeah. that. Pretty textbook track pick, I think. Um, really, anyone from third to eighth could pull yep. shroom here. Exactly. And uh, same with with Mount Wario though. Like, like you definitely pull shrooms, and it's always chaotic on Mount Wario the first couple turns. But it doesn't matter. We're going to Twisted Mansion. Absolutely. So we'll see. Uh, obviously, the first set of TM usually relies a lot on coordination. You pull, ex you yep. call exactly what box you're going to take. You have to do that. We'll see if that affects SV's gameplay here. Presumably, I think it go, would, right? right? Yeah. Well, you know, the four Japanese players probably have this down. They've been playing together for a while. Yeah, for sure. We'll see if they're able to get boxes. Art going left in first. They're split path. I've actually never seen that before, going split in their top two. is. Oh, and Yukinko just... It, it worked perfectly on him. You know, first went left, and Yukinko didn't know how to respond to it, so he's down yeah, in 11th already. As we see a Ko in first, though. He's able to shroom up. Might get sniped here. I gotta watch out for the green snipe. And there it is. Oh, well done from Popoku there. Perfect snipe on the side. One of the more deadly corners in the game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it's going to be 2-3 for SV right now. Papuko's going to have to be careful. Not pulling double protection, so yeah. the position is a little nine. bit precarious. Yeah, here with, he has a red Harry in second place, so... Papuko hanging on for dear life at the moment. As of now, his spot looks pretty safe. No one's trying to hit him out at the, at the moment. So, just able to run for the time being. And SB is going to take cut okay. into first, so it is still 1-3 for them. Rady, obviously with those triple oh, bananas in second, and getting hit out with the horn. Yep. So it should still be SV in first. Yeah, the Roy's in first. I think it's a top two SV. I thought I thought that was a top two, but I could be wrong. Oh, interesting. Oh, and Papuko so, uh, stopping to red. Going to get him. Fail there. <laughs> The bomb coming is a hard player, so this could be. I mean, we see Getty in like third, but it could be a top two still for SV. So that's going to be maybe like three, five, seven for Arc at the moment. Uh, Puko yeah, like, should be able to take the cut here and gain some spots. He's going to have fire after. It's going to have to watch out for this. Pretty that's strong it. position from SV right now. The star in six yeah. can't hit him out. Getty getting hit out. Oh, so, that oh, might have so, been Rady too. That could be a top four for it SV. Could be, could be, yeah. It actually might be Arc in first. I, I didn't think there'd be that many SV members up there, but. Goku getting absolutely hammered right now. Unfortunately being hit by his own fire and then chained yeah. after that. As he switched to Yukinko here. With a good pull, he can definitely gain some spots, but he has to watch out for SV with the greens. But Henry throws him away. He has a bomb, though. This looks very strong for SV right now. Throws a bomb up. He doesn't hit. I don't know. 3-4 for Arc high, at yeah. least. Did SV pull the top two? That's the question. No, just first. Only one first. Four. Okay, really. But a 1-4, 7-8, that's probably like a plus... Plus four or something small. So, yeah. Unfortunately for SV, they they had all the top spots at some point on lap three there, but uh, Arc was able to break into it. It's a tied race. As you so... can go making making sure we see that race result. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you, you can go. <laughs> yeah, it's still gonna be a plus eight for Arc two after three. Plus two overall after three. Okay. No, pl plus eight overall. Oh, plus eight. Okay. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. Okay. So we got ourselves a tight matchup one quarter of the way through this ma this match. And now, you guys didn't see this, but 
Babuka just switched to Morton, so I'm I'm hyped for that. He heard what you said and he he responded. He absolutely did. Someone absolutely pinged him in the Ark server and said, "Yo, Jacob is sad. You got to switch to Morton." <laughs> We're going to be seeing some Electrodrome thing. gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far this war, things have been pretty volatile in the top spots. It's been teams yeah. trading places over yeah. and over and over again. Which makes it a little harder to cast, but I think more you like to see it, though. It makes it race more. Yeah, absolutely. No, no one is getting free runs so far this war. Yeah. Nothing's free in Division 6, as they say. Absolutely so. nothing. <laughs> So we think, get to see these yeah. this Morton gameplay. Yeah, this is awesome. I think SV started two three this race, if I if that's correct. So oh, uh, it was Ark in two three. Oh, SV, SV got one four, yeah. Okay, so it was Ark going for. Okay. So Papuko looks like he'll be bagging here. Uh, maybe even going for a shock if things get dire. As yeah, so you see, three SV members on the left path here, I think. And Yukinko does have a shroom, so it, it could be a bad thing to be top three this early on ed because the other team is just going to shroom up on you but the fact that yukinko has one of his own is really yeah. strong for them yep pulling out his green it's actually a top four for sv at the moment oh okay that was bold yeah and sv is everybody in the top right now someone from arc needs to be going for shock at this point oh we have michael up here but other than that i think it is literally all sv I think arc is in second actually Ukoku is in second place, rocking the Morton as we see. Going oh, he is, Desi he on. is, and he's in it's first. I didn't nice. even see him on the map. Yep. So Papuko just kind of silently in. went from Getting last. That snipe, though, unfortunately. Oh my god. We hate to see that. This is what I'm saying about this war being volatile so far. Yeah. Papuko started in the that. back. I he said that he might be bagging, and then without me even noticing, he came up to first and got blued, and now he's back in about, sixth. He's in there for about half a second. <laughs> So really, Papuko is just taking a world tour of all the spots available in this race. Uh, <laughs> He's showing us the whole layout of Electrodrome, as Absolutely. if we haven't seen it enough time. <laughs> getting hit He's though. getting greened out. Based on the way this war is going, I'm assuming Papuko is going to be in first by the end. <laughs> Don't want to speak too soon, though. Top two have a huge break, but actually top three have a large breakaway. Interesting. Okay. Yukiko is throwing the boomerang up, so it's got to be at least one arc up there. He didn't pull any shrooms. He pulled four greens. Not what you want, but he could hit. Oh, he does. He hits. Yeah, it looks hits like he's going to get Michael with that. Yep. And we see a Wario in first. Wario is Ark Stevens, correct? So that's a first. That's top. Or it's the second place Roy. Or third place. I, I, we'll see if he yeah. wants before the cut here. Ooh, he's going to run into the banana on the ground. That's really unfortunate for SV. It's going to be f mm. Oof. maybe yeah. second for Ark. It looks like Stevens got passed on the line. Bottom two for SV, though. But Harry clutching it up for SV. Yeah, one, three, six, eight, bottom two for SV. So it's gonna be another very close yeah, race. Yeah, so this, this match has got even tighter. Um, go DKJ. I think that when when he hit that banana, it was actually you said it like a, a second before it happened. So I, I believe I'm behind about a second now. Ooh, so, unfortunate. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I'll try not to spoil anything. No, that's okay. <laughs> so it was actually a plus two race for Ark there. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. So it's now a ten point game after four. Okay. That's a solid GP, though. We want to see close matches, and so far we've gotten exactly that. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, definitely able to be swapped into one race. Uh, SV could be leading in one at this point. All right. Apparently something I didn't notice. Uh, Yukinko is streaming with Call right now. <laughs> so uh, hmm. we're going we're gonna to get that one muted for you. Uh, our bad for that. For those of you that speak Japanese, we're sorry that we're, we're turning that off. <laughs> so we're heading to DKJ for race five. Uh, checking the spots from last race, it was a oh, one three for SV, one, three so this is SV, definitely yeah. good for them. Yeah, we'll see if they can hold on. Obviously, Stevens on uh, Wario Scooty. He's gonna have to watch for bumps here. Even though Wario's heavy, Scooty is a big disadvantage at the beginning yeah, of this track. I, I feel your pain, Stevens. I feel that pain. Puko, gotta watch out. Yep. Okay, he didn't fall off. He didn't fall off at least, but. A couple art players getting kind of wrecked there before the bridge. Maybe they're yeah, really yeah. As we predicted, Stevens is among those who are back here. So, mm. uh, Scooty kind of did him dirty here. Mm. That on top of being in second at the beginning, it's just not a good position to be in. And it looks like mostly Ark in the back. It's at least Stevens and Getty, and we see Nate in sixth. We see, yeah. The SV Roy is up there in second. We, and Harry's not up there, so I thought Harry might have been up there. Harry rocking the the Wiggler today, not the not the Scooty. So, 
Yeah, he's been playing Wiggler and Lounge too. Uh, pretty much known as a Scooty player at this point, but you know he's he's making the switch. He's he's heading to the Wiggler side. Yep. Especially with this Japanese team, you have to think that they had some influence on that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be top two, getting the trail on Papuko, so it's more established at this point. Never mind, it was just like Papuko's still there. <laughs> So it's going to be a 2-3 for Ark at this point. Trying to get the back. It's yeah. unfortunately going to miss. Odds are these positions. Well, oh, the boomerang here is a great item to have. Absolutely deadly item. The bomb, he could throw that up. He threw it probably too short, but nope. Getting the perfect snipe. Well done. Very nice. Nice getting slowing punished. down. Kind of getting punished for it, but... So first and second have a breakaway now. Yeah, and it's Papuko in second, Nate in third. Still going to be SV in first at this point. Yeah, SV holding on. Oh, getting the, trying to get the back. He has a red shell in second. I don't know if he knew that or not. Did he? Oh, did he get? He did. He went. Yeah, misplay from SV there. Uh, nice. Really aggressive back for the banana. Yeah, I don't think he knew that Papuko had a yeah. red. And he went for the bomb snipe. Oh, he just went this to the left. So he might back him here. You saw him absolutely getting punished for his for his aggressive play there. And, and that back, now... that back connect, it connected. Yes, it did. So a huge break now for Papuko. Yeah, excellent play from him. Uh, Papuko should have guaranteed first this race. I don't want to call it too soon, but it's we, looking we gotta... pretty good for him. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. It's first place for Papuko. Yeah, really aggressive uh, yeah, team play saw. from SV coming out there. Unfortunately, yeah. didn't walk, work out for them that Ooh. time. Oh, nice graphic from Papuko. Ooh, ooh. Five, ooh. Five, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Ark got bottom five despite the backs there. That's crazy. I did not. I don't know how they, they had none of the support behind first. Yeah, that was really interesting race. Yeah. Uh, Papuko punishing everyone on SV to get first, but still Ark was just getting anything. punished more than that. Yeah. Can we find a shorter way to say Papuko's name? Because saying it and also saying Yukinko is kind of like, it's like three syllables for the names. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to remember who's on whose team. That's true. You know, I think that's a struggle we're just going to have to yeah. deal with here. Unless we want to say uh, Ark every time. <laughs> but anyway, plus, plus 22, 22 race yeah. for SV. Uh, first place, absolutely saving it for Ark. It, it would have been yeah. so much worse if Papuko didn't win there. So not to like be be corny, but congratulations on your biggest ever race, SV plus twenty two. Yeah, there you go. Take, uh... <laughs> congratulations on your first ever twenty plus race. Yeah, they take a twelve point lead through five. So this the first lead change actually, I think. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Ark was leading first from lead. the beginning. Uh, yep. They started off with plus fourteen for Ark. So yep. now SV is winning after five. And Mario Kart Stadium getting picked. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that was the Ark's pick there. That was Ark's pick. I don't know. It could be either. This is definitely a, a lounge pick, right? So <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. If, if, if you're playing a Mogi, you're gonna play this every time. So I imagine it might be an SV pick. I'm not sure though. We'll have to see how both of the teams play it here. Puku obviously icon. opting to run. He's the only top presence. And. Henry is fighting him for that top spot. Uh, so Michael's you, up here too. How do you play this track in a 6v6? Like, I, I don't have much experience. Oh, dude, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, we never pick it. Like, we say Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I'm never going to let my team pick this track. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not a fan myself. But, uh, you know, it's it's runnable and baggable. Obviously, you Very have true. the glider strat at the end. So I, I you can kind of make a lot of things work here. Yeah. Uh, Papuko falling back down to 10th, and the bomb back on an SV member there. Gonna stay in the mid-pack for now. Yeah, the pack really tight for lap 2. Yeah, much much more yeah. tight than I would expect for this track. Going wide for the coins, so he is gonna yeah. slow down at yeah. this point. Yeah, a couple players slowing down as I say that, so we will see. We don't know, have any idea what the top spots look like, really. Yeah, it looks players. like 2 Arc and 2 SV back here. So really anyone's game as far as pulling a shock is concerned. Yeah, that's true. Gonna have to chain here, presumably. He doesn't chain here, so that's interesting. Very interesting. That leads yeah. me to believe that Ark might have it. Their sleeve here. As uh, Yusaki is shrooming up in 12, so he has no shock. Yeah, and he's in his star. If the shock is coming out for Ark, it should be coming out. And yeah, I'm not is. sure why he didn't chain back there. It was just yeah. an interesting play from Papuko. Maybe he's still in eighth. Out. Yeah, Papuko's in a position to get a really good spot here. Oh, Gotta that, watch out for these he greens. Green. He didn't get green there, so that was that was a little lucky there. Yeah, no shot coming in this race, it looks like. Should be able to gain some spots here by taking the cut. Opting not to go for the glider version of the cut. Oh, it's only dot. No, we're good, okay. And it looks like Ark in a lot of mid spots there. Getty also getting first. Two, three, four, six for SV, so... 
It's going to be another close yeah. race. Very tight. You see, if you saw the last the screen there before he, he got off the results, we see the Henry and Harry in first and second place individually. Um, very strong players working out well so far with their teams. So. Yeah, that's going to be a plus two for SV, actually, with the two, three, okay. four, six carrying them. Uh, still a 14-point game. Still could be flipped in one race. But at this point, SV is getting some momentum. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going for, for Music Park. Really interesting pick from them. Really? Music Park, yeah. obviously a strong runner. Um, it's Harry's strongest runner. I, I know that about him. But yeah, you usually first, don't though, like, see yeah. it when your team doesn't have first. It's, it's yeah. really interesting. I'm a big fan of uh, Dak, though, so I'm hoping it gets picked. Oh, yeah. Ob obviously, Arcadia that. picking Dak, it's, uh, well, you know, goes together like peas and carrots. Everyone knows that Arc <laughs> likes Dak. <laughs> Steven's had other thoughts, though, picking, picking Ribbon Road. So one out of 12. You know, if, if one person picks a different track, you already know that that's the one getting yeah. picked. Thank you for playing at whatever, like 1 a.m., Steven's at your time. So we appreciate your dedication. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was talking to Getty in the MKU staff chat a bit before this match, and he was very excited that Stevens was able to play for them. Uh, yeah. Obviously one of their best players, and choosing to stay up for the late night match. Mm -hmm. Primetime, you can't miss it. Cannot miss primetime. Some players getting redded out there. You know, another, how do you play this track in a 6 6 as well? Because obviously you know, this, another runner and bagger track. Yeah, this is another one that you can kind of do anything and get away with it. Um, yeah. If I was playing it in a 6v6, I would want to have spots kind of sprinkled throughout the entire pack. Unfortunately, going to fail the cut. It's a top two breakaway for Ark at this point. Interesting. With that cut, though, we'll see if that lasts. Yeah, yeah. Steven's going for the cut in first. He's, him, and, him and Getty have the big breakaway now. This is a really strong position for Ark. Um, if I was in SV, I would absolutely be going for Shock at this point. You have to presume one of those Waluigi. Blue Shell coming out, so that's probably the Waluigi in last SV. Puko is staying back with them, so... Oh, and he pulls it in 10th! Wow. Oh that my is... god, he's so lucky! Okay. That is broken. So we're going to have to see how Ark uses this. Uh, I'm mad. I'm mad that he pulled that. I'm not going to lie. But, <laughs> hey. See the shot? And if SB sees the shot, can they communicate to their team that they see the shot? Another thing. As Henry or Harry going into a dodge? Someone else in a bill? Yeah, so Harry and Henry... One of them must have seen the shock by now. Has to have seen the shock by now. Ark is just waiting to use it. They might even hold it really until the end of the race. It's still a shot. lot of top spots from Ark. I feel like another shock could be pulled by it. I Actually, looking at the mini map, it might be a top five from Ark right now. Nah, I mean, we see, we see Ark in tens as well. So. Oh yeah, I did, I, that was Rady back there, but it's it's at yeah. least a very strong position for Ark right now. Yeah. So you think maybe you know shocking after the glider, but then that would kind of. Through over their shroom usage, we'll see how they communicate. I would shock right before Glider if I was Ark. We'll see if they choose to do that. And they, they do. do. Yeah, so now Ark is going to be able to get the chain here. Um, SV unfortunately the dodging in the bill. They have a star after. It's going to be a strong race for that Ooh. individual player. New Kinko kind, kind of messing up. But getting into second place, can he back him in the line here? I didn't Doesn't see look like it connected. So it should be a top two from SV here. That's a top two SV with an Ark shock. We have, I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah so it is top two, so. No, I, I wonder if holding range. that shock was the play. Yeah, I, because... I think if you use it like before glider, it gives both teams a chance to chain, and then SV just got the better chain. So, like, yeah. in that sense, I would, I would either, yeah, I don't know, like use it after glider or just not at all. It, it always feels wrong to hold a shock for that long. Yeah, you like, feel like you're obligated to use it, especially if you pull it in 10th place. Right, like it, it's the strongest item in the game, yeah. objectively. There's no argument against that. So. Just holding it the entire race and not making any use out of it feels so wrong. It it just feels like the exact opposite play of what you should be doing. But in that case, I yeah. think they should have just held it. They had all yeah. the top spots. So that ended up being a tie race. And one thing I like to do when we use a shock is what what was the shock's effect on that race? Because if they would have gotten top two, it would have been like a plus plus six or plus eight. And since they tied that race, it's like a minus eight shock, basically. So they cost their team like eight points is how I like to think about it. Obviously, you never know, because we never know how it would have worked out if they didn't use it, but it looks like a and we're going to DAC, <laughs> the ARC specialty. Uh, ARC is much better at this track than most other teams. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if they get a big race here. Um, I think they're more likely to get a big race here than uh, yeah, a lot of other teams. With five to go. Yeah, so we were, we were caught up in that whole Ribbon Road shock thing, but again, this is still a 14-point game. Exactly. Anyone could win. It could go either way. 
Gonna be an early one three four for Arc. Koa the only top presence for SV at the moment. Yeah, you want to have this top is... and bottom spots on this track. I feel like. Yeah, this is really the third track in a row that you could run or bag yeah. and have a successful race. Yeah, it's always an interesting dynamic here. As he's going for the immediate immediate red shell and he's hitting somebody, I think you you can go co connect on somebody there. I think that hit Rady. Uh, should be able to get didn't ready red out. Chose Ooh. not to red. It's even getting redded there. And there you go. It's going to be a 3-4 for SV right now. With we know who's in first. Unknown Waluigi in first. Okay. Could be either team. From the back. From the bomb back there. Yeah, so at this point, I'm just... I'm close. I'm, I'm counting down the shock because... Okay. It, it can happen at any second at this point, right? Someone pretty much always pulls it on this track, and it yeah. usually comes around the end of lap two. I mean, pack is close, though, so I don't, I don't know, like, if they have it, they, they would have already pulled it there. They're not going for it anymore. Holding a ghost, though, in six. Who has a ghost in fourth? That's a really strong yeah, position. He's forced yeah. into it yeah. because of the fire. You see a 2 3 4, though, for them. Oh, my gosh. And he has four shrooms in fifth. Wow. Who goes in an amazing position right now? 2 3 for SV, still, yeah. though. Yeah, whoever's in first could determine this race. As he's streaming up. Oh, he might have gotten red in there. Yep, we saw like we actually see both of our casters here. Or our streamers in action. Looks like he oh, is Michael getting didn't red actually... on the ramp there. Yeah, it didn't oh. connect with Papuko, so he should be getting Oh, he's gonna red <laughs> Stevens! No! It didn't, didn't matter, didn't matter, didn't oh matter. Oh my gosh, he had protection. Oh I got yeah, so yeah, scared. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think he was anticipating SB taking the cut there. He tried to like lead him in there. Like it's going to be a 1-3-4 for Arc. SV getting all the middle spots once again, though. No team can get a really blowout race in this war besides that 1 plus 22 yeah. from SV. <laughs> that was on DKJ, scores. right? The, the plus 22. Yes, okay. yeah. So that was a minus 6 for SV, so it's now an 8-point war, even closer than it was before. Yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat. This, is, this could go either way. <laughs> we got four races left. Eight points separate the two teams. So, could you ask for a better primetime matchup to open up our season? Best case scenario, <laughs> right? The lead changes four times in the next four races. That would be crazy. That would be. That, that, that would probably. That, that's what I'm hoping happens. That would probably be win. Like SC would have to win if that's the case. So you want SC to win? Probably not how the teams want this war to go. <laughs> I'm I'm sure that would cause a lot more stress for them, but that just makes a very fun cast. I'm, I'm happy to see SV going for a sweet sweet. I'm not happy about that, I'm but you know we, we my, can have our difference in opinion. It's by far my favorite track. Oh my <laughs> god! Let's go. It's oh awesome. my god! It's just meant to be. No, 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 no. It's the best track because you can run it, you can bag it. It's like it's like it's it's just like that. Oh my Bold god! Statement. Just just pick back then, man. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you like sweet, sweet. Oh, it's so good. Okay, all right. We're just gonna have to get past that one. Yeah, I think, we, well, I think we'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> The draft's obviously being a big a big thing, but just like Electro Drum, there's a big tr track or a big short at the end, so it really it, it goes either way, and that's what I like about it. Top two for SV early on here. Red in second for them. Nothing. That means absolutely nothing. Going to be able to uh, establish that front presence really early with that red, and Henry should just be able to run for a while, at least until that yeah. cut. Yeah, they're actually top two four, it looks like. Yeah, really Perfect. good position from them, and obviously a Shroom in fourth. Yukinko yeah. should be able to... Get up into first theoretically after this cut. And we see Stevens in last, so maybe thinking about shock. See, I think he's definitely thinking about shock. It, it's mostly top spots from SV. Very powerful on this track as well, but obviously the best shortcut in the game is being used there. Is that a top four? Could be a top four. I think it is. I, see, that's not necessarily a good thing on this track. So we'll see. Like obviously running is very very effective, but a shock could be detrimental. So Michael and Force with, with a shroom. Uh, they're going to want to hit him out so he can't get up into a top spot at the yeah, cut. Didn't, didn't go for the rocket green after the cannon there. Yeah, Michael is definitely the most dangerous member on Ark right now. But you got to watch out for Stevens and last. Still looking to pull that shot. Yeah. Chaining a star there. As you can go pulling double reds, he could definitely hit somebody here. Oh, he's okay. Okay, so Michael was able to get, take the cut up there. Papuko's up here too. He's going to get redded. Unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, protection out. Yeah, I don't think a shock's coming. The pack is way too tight now. This fire right now is deadly, deadly. But... Yeah, if the shock was happening, it was happening right there. So I think this will be a shockless race unless someone pulls it at the very end. A plant, not the enemy you want to have, but Henry getting taken out there. You can go able to change it. 
chain it because yeah, yeah. of Henry getting taken out. So we'll see if he pulls yeah, that's a great pull. here. That's a great he will. He's set, he's set for a top three, barring any item hits here. I see Arkin 2-3, though. So oh, please don't chain first. this last room. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> If SP is not able to, first, oh, two of Ark taking the cut too. That's super oh, good S for them, and he's SP getting hit on the line. SP pulled, first. SP pulled first, though, so I think that's a top two for top SP. Two for top three. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So Ark, two of Ark took the cut there, and it looks like they both got hit out. Yeah. So what could have been a very good race for them instead so all becomes of a, sudden, a really good race for SB. SB in a position now to potentially close this out. Do I dare say that? I. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. It was a pretty good race, and yeah. there's only that's three the left. Yeah. SB plus 24 after nine. Okay. So if they get a big win on this race, it could be over for Ark. Yeah. We'll see what Ark does to respond here going with the DEA. That's another staple track yeah. for Ark. They, they pick this yeah. a lot. They're very confident on it. So it could be another, uh, SB, a top another upset top situation top. here. Oh, they're getting their picks. That's big. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This track pick was huge for Arik. We'll see what they're able to do here. Uh, the top three is going to be broken up pretty quickly. Hey, all I'm saying is SV went Sweet Sweet Canyon. They got top three. Like, what can I say? Like, it's, it's a great yeah. track. <laughs> going to have to respectfully disagree. Yeah. But uh... <laughs> One for one this season. So... Yeah. But how do you play DEA? <laughs> how do you like to play DEA in the 6v6? Because you see SV burning out intentionally, I would presume. You know... Like every other track in this war, it seems, this is one where you want to have spots sprinkled throughout the pack. Yeah, it's definitely because again, in an individual sense, you, you could either run or beg this track. So if you have people all around, you should be guaranteed at least some top spots by the end. That's very true. As it looks like Arc in a one, that's it, 2-3 now for SV. And they, they don't have streams though to take that early cut. Yeah, you can go with nothing in second. Yeah. Uh, can't see what the guy in third has. Radio with that red, it could be pretty dangerous here. Calling for the potential boomerang snipe here. Yep. Connects very And he's going to get it, so it's, it'll be top two for SV. Second, not getting hit. Yes, getting hit. It was leg. It didn't hit, but then it did. And then it didn't again. He's still in first. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it is top two for SV. Uh, despite what the screen showed you, it is top two for SV. Up, oh, Koku trimming in the first, kind of first here. He has two streams now. A very good position yep. for him. SV going for the agree. snipe, not yep. going to hit. That was a good, uh, that's a key moment there. Because an early snipe there, definitely big. But able to establish some space now in first. So blue shell, the only thing, or potential reds, and there comes. Oh, he's going to get redded, yeah. Yep. First place nope. is a big fly here. As Arc now 2-3. Two, 2-3-4 three. Two, three, for Arc. Yeah. yeah, SV clutching onto that first place. If they don't hold that, it'll be a very good race for Arc. It's going to be hard to hold on if he doesn't have shrimps. And he doesn't. So the blue shell coming as well. So that's oh no, this could be really bad. For Banana. Him. All right, nice avoidance. SV. Oh, SV looks like they're in two, three, or like three, four now. And Harry's yeah. showing off to a ghost. Yeah. So it is actually top two for SV, despite what it looked like. Yeah, it looks like it might have been bad, but we'll see. This last cut. Everybody Both of them have shrooms. Oh, the rubber red. And oh, reds. Yeah. Top two for yeah. SV. Oh, this. I think this that's is gonna big. put it away. That's, oh, he backs him. That's big. That's oh, big. that's huge. That's huge. I think that's the war right there. That, I mean, that's bold. That's a bold statement there, Jacob. Top two, five. I don't know. That... 9, 10, 12. That's huge. Big play. That's a strong race for SV. Ark is going to need to do something crazy if they want to yeah. win this war. All of a sudden, after that DKJ race, Ark not able to pull together any momentum. So it, it was only a plus four race for SV. So we have but in the position left. they're in, they yeah. were up in like the mid-20 range. Any winning race is, is strengthening their position yeah. to win the war tenfold. Yeah. Right? Plus 28. It could be closed out here. If Ark doesn't gain on this race, it'll be very difficult. Yeah. At this point, there's two races left. Ark needs at least one huge race. Yeah, I thought that. I thought Ark was looking good there. It looked like they were 2-3-4 with shrooms. First place didn't have a shroom, but then all of a sudden, Harry came up with a ghost of the shrooms. Somebody else from SB had shrooms, and all of a sudden, it just turned, out, turned on its tide, turned on its head. And just like you say, this, this, the top spots are extremely volatile. They're switching all the time. Yeah, real, I'm thinking really, back really to all the no races idea. this war. Yeah. There have been no clean runs the entire really. time. Every single Turns. first place has yeah. been hard fought. It's been kind of gotten yeah. on the line. Yeah, I mean, you have more Division Six experience than I do, I believe, but it looks like you have to fight every second. So. Yeah. <laughs> Both teams are playing super aggressive. It's yeah. showing in how the spots are changing over yeah. and over and over again. We love to see it. 
could also be a factor of uh, which, which tracks are being picked. Obviously, not too many hard runners. Uh, Music yeah. Park is a hard we runner, so we'll got see. A runner, though, so it's the first time in a while we get a runner. <laughs> uh, Buko with the early shroom. Getting bumped super wide, though. The shroom isn't going to help with that. And you can't go also with a shroom. Going to be able to take the cut. Top two for SV. Top three, three actually. But you can't go kind of messing up here. Oh, that's unfortunate, yeah. Yeah, kind of a throw. Uh, down in 8-9 for our two cast or for our two yeah. POVs at this point. Yeah. He's got Nanners here, so we can do some damage. Choosing not to chain, he's yeah. got his teammates around him. Makes sense. Strategic, strategic. And now it's going to be 3-5 for Ark at least. Uh, oh, checking ooh. the minimap, it's just Waluigi's up there, so yeah, I don't know who's in top bottom. two. And we see triple greens in six, triple bananas, also triple bananas in four. Uh, and Michael is... Michael is just absolutely screwed. I don't know how he hasn't died already. Um, Papoku just slow on the guy with triple green, so that was huge. How is Michael still alive? All right, it's 2-3 for Ark. There were three sets of triples around him, and he somehow just didn't get hit. That's great avoidance from him. That's huge. Looks like a 1-3 now for, for SV. Oh, okay, I, I was wrong. A 1-4-5 for SV. It's a pretty good spot Ooh. for Ark, actually. Even Arc though SV has first, uh, obviously when you don't have any spots around it, pretty easy to get hit out. Yeah, but Goku kind of messing up there, though. Harry is up here. Harry's in fourth, or third now. Yeah, it's kind of mixed in the top spots. Just like every race, Harry's a bomb. He has two, two, two arc players right behind him. Is he going to throw it back? He's got to. He's got to throw it back right now. Michael getting hit out. It's top two for SV. Uh, Harry's so got now they have a very right established now. position. Harry with the bomb oh, obviously could sniped. do a ton of damage. Getting sniped. Oh, Harry didn't use the bomb in time, dude. you got to use your bomb there. So it's still SV in first. Arc yeah, needs a better race than this. Yeah, that's, They that need to get that guy out of first. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. I need a double red here. Very possible though. Oh, and ah, shroom and a coin. Unfortunate pull. pull in second place. <laughs> yeah, so SV is gonna get first here. That's should be a lot of spots after that for Ark. The yeah. shock on the line should be from SV though. We'll have somebody to see switched, what the spots somebody are. switched to, pink, to Cat Peach in that race. Oh, there's Ark. Still two, three, four. four. Two, three, four, six, Dude, seven, eight. Four. That's a bottom That's four. four. Wow. So Ark. Didn't necessarily need to get that first place out. So how many points is that? What are we at now? One to go. It's a plus 16 Ooh. for Ooh. Ark. It is now a 12-point 12 12 war. With one to go. 12-point race. So the Ark is going to need a similar race to that if they want to win. Exactly. Exactly the same race, and they will bring it home. Um, but first place, definitely the more <laughs> the more admirable spot, the more desirable spot, I should say. If they can That's get another first, race where SV getting first really saved it. Uh, obviously, Papuko getting first in a one bottom five earlier. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the opposite of that happening now. Yeah, so what track do they go? Both teams considering all their options very carefully right now. Having some trouble picking. <laughs> Got a lot to think about right now. Most of the drafters have already been picked. Going Hyrule. It's not an addiction. It's hard. You should start with it. All right, Aran joining the call, saying some uh, nice words. Thanks, Aran. Yeah, Look over there. What the heck is it? We're going to Sherbert Land. Oh, so Sherbert Land getting picked. So, so this is another track I don't know how to play in a six v six. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely a backing track. Back in my SC days, we played this track all the time, but I never really learned how to do it. Yeah, I know that's a. Uh... Two former SC players though in, the, in this lineup, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is definitely a Starkland track. Uh, yeah. Pretty much the only team I know of that actually picks it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to have to tell me about this track. Yeah, definitely. Drafts are big at the beginning, but somebody you know, can always go for those coins. Um, I always hate getting bumped into those coins because it kind of like takes you into the, bot the back. But we see, we see Arkin last already. So it looks like Getty took the coin path. Whether or not it was intentional, we will never know. But a bottom two right now for Ark. It's going to be two... I was about to say 2-4, but now uh, Papuko's never... back in 7th because everybody shroomed up. Yeah. It's going to be 4-5-6, though. Pretty strong like position from them. Bots, they just get switched up, so. so you see a 1... First place for SV right now, so that's big for SV. Yeah, it looks like Ark got taken out, at least a few of them. 2-3 for them, yeah, but... 2-3 for Ark, but they're still bottom 2. A lot of, a lot of SV up here. Ark is going to need to pull a shock, I think. Double rise, that's big, and I, I think he's out of first, so that's a top 2 now. So Ark... Oh, he trailed in! Ooh, okay, okay! So Still getting... third for SV. Henry is not there anymore. Harry, but... Harry, ooh, where did that red go? I have no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's laggy. Okay. Harry's Harry, in second. Harry trying to open it up. Okay, so SV still hanging around, so they're not letting Ark go away with this. This is coming down to the absolute wire. 
Arc's I think big. I think Arc is gonna need a shock here. Yeah, I, they definitely. I don't know where Stevens went, but we still see last place or at least eleventh place occupied by Getty. I think Where's I saw the... Stevens up near the front. He's. Okay. Pack is too close up for here. Shock. I don't think Shock isn't playing with somebody absolute suicides now. Yeah, I think the spots oh. are too mixed. Yeah. And Nate, so we, it's presumably Harry in first, right? So SV, if he locks down first and they get a 1-4, that could be game. Yeah, the, Arc could win this race, but they need a bigger race than just yeah. a win if they want to win this war. Oh, 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 we switched perspective. Somebody holding the blue shell. Oh, he dodges. And the Shock coming out. So the Shock did come in. It might have been an Arc Shock, Arc dodging as well. We don't Kuko know. That's... not dodging. Oh, uh, this doesn't look good for them. Oh, you can't go getting hit. Oh! That's He's going to lose some spots from that. Puko's here. He's in six. Okay. Comes down oh, and he's getting third. scarred on the line. And how did oh, no. How did that could have lost it. I don't know. Three. Arc with a 1 3 4. Is that enough? 1 3 4, four 7, five. 10, 11. I don't that think that's enough. enough. I don't think so either, but is it? And it's not. Ooh. I think you put the spots in wrong. You put in the spots yeah. for the wrong team. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a, a plus eight, so it's not. That's going to be a game. plus eight a four for Arc. Win. A four our, point our win. side, our side says it's plus twenty for SV. It's actually plus four for SV. SV with a four point win. Just start Insanely off insanely close the war. season. Yeah, couldn't been any. Could not really have been any closer. Yeah, it came down to the last that race. Is, that is exactly what you like to see. What a very very entertaining match. I have to say, like, we, we never had any any trends. You know, every race was all the way to the last second, and that's all you can ask for. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And, you know, this is just confirmation. We did put SV in the right division. I'm happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so SV may be the favorites now to win this division. I'm not going to say that after one win, but... Yeah, we'll obviously a very strong, uh, very strong start for them. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, obviously, Ark was missing Kevin in this lineup, one of their strongest players. But still a very good showing for SV. A win yeah. to start off their first yeah. FPU season. Yeah, so I'm impressed. I think... SV, SV played well. They, I mean, neither team dominated the front, but it, it, neither team got dominated, so it ended up being okay. And, yeah. And yeah, so who's the pick to win the division now? Bold prediction time. Go. Are we going bold predictions? Yeah, bold prediction, D6. All right, Hornets. Oh, Hornets, okay. I actually don't know anything about Hornets, so. Uh, secondary roster of Midnight Wasps. Felix's oh, team. that makes somewhat sense, actually. They were... Uh... <laughs> okay. They were considered for Division 5. Unfortunately, there were just like okay. 10 D5 teams, so some of them had to be D6. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that, that's yeah. my pick to win D6, though. Yeah. And are, are you on Team SV now? I don't I, I mean, I, I, I might be. I might be. So we'll see. I, I'm also, I, I have a thing for After Dark. I think they're in D6 as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I believe we'll they see are. If, if, we'll see if they're able to. I think they won the banner last year in D7. So if, if they're able to, we'll see how they do. So I'm, I'm definitely rooting for them to some degree. Being a former member of the team, yeah, I'm these middle divs, man. You could yeah. list any yeah. team as a potential winner, and I would believe you. Yeah, and the, and the like, quality of play in these middle divisions is not bad at all, as we saw. Like, I mean, it just kind absolutely. of shows like the growth of, of the community and, and so many higher divisions now. So yeah, there there was some great plays being made there. There were some awesome backs, some great yeah. uh, team play happening. Yeah, and lines on point. If you want to be in this level of play, you got to know how to drive. Yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, speaking oh. from a seedings perspective, really, I, I want to reiterate, mm -hmm. anyone can win in these middle divisions. Like, yeah. D4 through 7, Yeah. like, you could swap those teams around however you wanted, and you could get something that looks pretty good. Yeah, so, my team is, yeah. Like, I, I agree. My team in D4, definitely, like, we were seeded last, but, like, we could definitely, I mean, we could get first through last. I have no idea how we're going to do this season in D4. I, I feel the exact same way in yeah. D5. Yeah. So... Yeah, and example of that, plus four win for SV yeah, to start off the huge. season. Yeah, a narrow uh, win. Arc can come back, though, definitely. Um, they still have nine more games to, to bring it back. So We are going to say goodbye for now. Uh, be sure to come back at the hour. We're going to have version two versus Cartanita Asada in some Division Five action. Yeah, don't miss that one, for sure. And then afterwards, we're announcing our Sunday primetime. Is that correct? That is correct. Right. Stay, we'll stick stay around for that. For that, I don't, we'll see who's playing. So, um, right. yeah, it was actually a pleasure casting with you, Jacob. Um, thank you for for Likewise. doing that with me and letting me be part of the team. And and yeah. All right, we'll see you then. Yeah, Bye. see you.